Welcome back to, All About Tamils, the channel that explores the rich history and culture of the Tamil community. In today's episode, we delve into the life and legacy of Samuel James Velupalai Chelvanayakam, a prominent Tamil leader and the father of the Tamil community in Sri Lanka. Let's uncover the inspiring story of this remarkable individual who dedicated his life to advocating for Tamil rights. Samuel James Velupalai Chelvanayakam was a prominent Sri Lankan lawyer, politician, and member of parliament. Born in Malaya to a Ceylon Tamil family, he moved to Ceylon at a young age and pursued a successful career in civil law. But it was his involvement in politics that shaped the course of his life and the Tamil political landscape. Chelvanayakam became a key figure when the British established the Solbury Commission to discuss constitutional reforms in Ceylon. Together with other Tamil leaders, he founded the All Ceylon Tamil Congress, ACTC, to represent the interests of the Tamil community. In 1947, he was elected to parliament and later established his own party, the Ilinkai Tamil Arasu Kachchi, ITAK, also known as the Federal Party. His vision for the Tamil community was rooted in federalism, seeking a fair sharing of power between the Sinhalese majority and the Tamil minority. Chelvanayakam signed two significant pacts with Sri Lankan prime ministers, the Bandaranaike, Chelvanayakam Pact in 1957 and the Dudley, Chelvanayakam Pact in 1965. These agreements aimed to devolve power to the Tamil community and address linguistic and ethnic issues. Unfortunately, both pacts were later abandoned due to pressure from Sinhalese nationalists, leading Chelvanayakam and the Tamil political movement to shift towards separatism. In 1972, Chelvanayakam and other Tamil political groups formed the Tamil United Front, TUF, which was later renamed the Tamil United Liberation Front, TULF. Under his leadership, the TULF passed the Vadakodai Resolution in 1976 advocating for the establishment of a separate state called Tamil Elam. Despite facing immense challenges, Chelvanayakam staunchly believed in non-violent means to achieve Tamil aspirations. He led several Satyagraha campaigns, utilizing peaceful resistance to push for political demands. However, his peaceful methods were met with resistance from Sinhalese Buddhist nationalists, leading to a turning point in the Tamil community's struggle, with some adopting a more militant approach. In his later years, Chelvanayakam suffered from Parkinson's disease and hearing impairment but remained committed to his cause. Tragically, he passed away in 1977 at the age of 79. Today, he is remembered as a figure of integrity and dedication, often referred to as the father of the Tamil community in Sri Lanka. And that brings us to the end of this episode on Samuel James Velupalai Chelvanayakam, an influential leader who fought for the rights of the Tamil community in Sri Lanka. His unwavering commitment and pursuit of justice continue to inspire generations of Tamils today. Join us next time on All About Tamils, as we explore more fascinating stories and delve deeper into the diverse tapestry of Tamil history and culture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content about the Tamils. Until next time, stay connected with All About Tamils, and continue to celebrate the rich heritage of the Tamil community. Remember, every story we uncover is a testament to the resilience, creativity, and contributions of the Tamil people throughout history. Together, let's preserve and share the remarkable tales that make up the tapestry of Tamil culture. See you in the next episode.